So welcome to today's lesson on collisions. And there's two learning objectives for today. Use the ideas of momentum to explain safety features in cars and also use the concept of the conservation of momentum to calculate the mass, velocity and momentum of objects during a collision. So head on collisions. Uh, in this case, uh, the bodies of the objects are moving in opposite directions. Now remember that momentum is a vector, it has a direction, therefore we treat one direction as positive and the other is negative. Okay, so in calculations, the velocity of one of the colliding bodies must be entered as a negative number. In this case, it's the yellow trolley, whereas the red trolley is considered a positive number. So the direction of motion becomes positive for the entire system, depending on the size of the velocity. Explosions are an example of this. So before an explosion, the total momentum of the cannon and the cannon shell is zero. As momentum is conserved, the total momentum afterwards, after the explosion, is also zero. So this means that different parts of the exploding body must move in different directions. And you see that in the recoil of a, um, a cannon. Okay, the projectile goes forward and the cannon actually recoils backwards. Okay, so a positive velocity for the, um, the projectile and a negative velocity for the cannon. And this can be linked to car safety features because car safety features are designed to reduce the uh, force um, uh, which an, uh, a human, <laughs> really, who's driving the car experiences over a, a time period. The idea is to increase the amount of time it takes for that force to be experienced. So here we have rear crumple zones, front crumple zones, airbags designed to reduce that, uh, the, or increase the amount of time in which that force is applied, that change in momentum. Uh, rear seat belts, front seat belts, side impact bars, and collapsible steering wheels, all designed to uh, basically uh, reduce the amount of force that a body is experiencing uh, in a certain amount of time. So increasing the basically the time it takes for that force to be experienced through that change in momentum. Because obviously when you collide, you go from a, a very fast velocity to a, well, zero, but you've crashed. So that's the example um, of crumple zones and airbags. They're designed to increase the time taken for the driver or the passenger to change momentum to zero. Okay, because remember, force equals momentum change uh, divided by time taken from the previous lesson. So this means that if you increase the time it takes for that uh, change in momentum to occur, the force exerted is decreased, and so the injury to the driver or passenger is reduced and that's the whole point of things like airbags okay so that increases the time for that momentum change to occur